Sheriff Bill Gore says he's shocked by backlash from the medical community over his release of a public safety video on fentanyl. The video shows a deputy passing out after testing drugs in the field confirmed to be fentanyl. As News News David Godwinson reports, Gore backed out of media interviews this morning set up so he could respond to the criticism. Being exposed to just a few small grains of fentanyl could have deadly consequences. This is the video criticized by some in the medical community as perpetuating a false narrative that merely touching or accidentally inhaling fentanyl can cause a first responder to overdose. Sheriff Bill Gore released the video last week and the backlash was swift. This video is misinformation and nobody should believe what's in this video. Dr. Ryan Marino is a medical toxicologist from Ohio who first criticized the video, showing a deputy collapsing after doing a field test on fentanyl powder during an arrest. Everyone should care about fentanyl overdoses. I think everyone should have Narcan and be prepared to use it, but, but this video is incorrect um, and it is going to cause a lot of harm. In an interview with the San Diego Union Tribune, Sheriff Gore admitted he had no blood tests to confirm the deputy actually overdosed and that it was Gore, not a doctor, who concluded that the deputy overdosed after incidental contact with fentanyl. I'm sorry, my mind didn't go to, oh, our deputy fainted, our deputy had a panic attack. It just didn't go there. To my mind, it was an overdose from the drug, from fentanyl, the UT quoted Gore as saying. Some of the misinformation may have come from this 2016 DEA press release that said, quote, just touching fentanyl or accidentally inhaling the substance is one of the biggest dangers with fentanyl for law enforcement officers. A DEA spokesperson did not respond to News 8 for comment. In 2018, one activist posted this video on Facebook holding fentanyl powder in the palm of his hand to demonstrate that fentanyl cannot be quickly absorbed through the skin. Leo Baletsky with UC San Diego School of Medicine told News 8, he's glad the false narrative is finally being debunked. It's really refreshing actually that you're doing this and you know other news outlets are finally uh, waking up to the fact that you know oftentimes law enforcement is wrong on drugs. Sheriff Gore scheduled an interview with News 8 for this morning, and then a spokesperson emailed us and canceled that interview. Tonight, that public safety video is still posted online on the Sheriff's Department's social media account. Jesse? David, what about the deputy involved in all of this at the center of it? Any more information coming from and about him? Well, in the UT interview, the sheriff said that the deputy has signed a release allowing his medical re records to be made public. But at this point, it's unclear whether he even did a blood test to confirm fentanyl in his system. David Gofferson, David, I'm sure you'll be following this one as well. Thank you.